think of this as like as the 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 mutt awards so to speak right and what i want you guys to do is go head on over mutt gg create the team yourself on their lineup builder i want you guys to send it to me over on twitter twitter.com slash the actual cc you guys will find me there i want to see what you guys think but it is the best of the best within mutt 22 not the best card right now obviously but cards that held a very significant spot to you throughout the year that dominated it is going to be quite the list in uh call it a little trip down memory lane now we're gonna start very very obvious here with quarterback and we're gonna use no 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 i don't i want to use i want to use this one whatever quarterback eric henry the original one the we did the video with the golden ticket one yesterday or whenever it was we did that very cool but this one this is the one that set the table it set the standard for us here this year and he did a lot of work he made a lot of people real real mad and then we go to fullback i didn't use a lot of fullbacks but there is one that just even now i know it's new and it stands out but this card is just a real pain fullback bridge man right there he's got he's got to be on this team he has to be on this team here he has to be now i'm not going to cover every offensive lineman here there's just a couple that really stood out and of course it's it's ap wise and stuff like that so we're going with robert hunt at right guard the free ap man himself and at left guard again there was someone else who got a nice little ap discount the alan fanica we got to include those guys left tackle center right tackle whoever you want to put there by all means you put there i'm not i'm not i don't i don't need to put anyone there but that is where we are starting. If you're looking to avoid the packs and save some racks, make sure you head on over to MMOEXP.com to help you build the best team possible. There's a one-stop shop for all your things between Mutt, 2K, and many other games. Make sure you use code CC for a 5% discount. Link is in the description below. Let's go be great. The tight end, slightly trickier here because there was actually a lot of decent tight ends, but there was one that when he came out, he was good for a long time, and that is the Blitz Kyle Pitts. Now, obviously, I think like the Vernon Davis now is a lot better and all that, or even the other Kyle Pitts. The Vernon Davis is probably the best tight end of the year, but this one was on my team for months and months and months. Staying power. He changed the way a lot of things were that we used it within the game. Great. Love that here. Now, wide receiver. We're going to cover three here. There's a lot you could go with. For me, the first one that really took over for me was Devontae adams ghost card the ghost card he was super good he was better than any Devonte adams card i ever remember using obviously he holds a special place there for me the other card which was used long past when he ever should have been was most feared randy moss still good card was still good still good still good right it was good for for months 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 and months especially if you used one of the popular theme teams he was on it now if we're gonna go to the final wide receiver spot again absolutely tons so many of these guys really just sort of had their positions and their spots out there uh but for me the one i remember taking over for me was Keyshawn johnson when he released i want to say it was early november he, it was like the beginning of the speed boost era where all of a sudden cards took a massive jump and increase and to me that card rings true in my head come the end of the year all these receivers super similar tall guys all lot, lot, lots of that stuff going on there but right there now running back tricky tricky because there were a lot of them um and this is going to sound biased but i'm going with veterans cordero patterson when he dropped he was the guy to use and he was on teams for a long 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 time a long time a long time now obviously there's been some better running back since then maybe you want to go with uh running back two we want to go with most feared derrick henry but we can't use two derrick henry's sorry about that you know what i mean so that's why we're going to go with cordell patterson here this was the offense that i've selected these cards when they came out were standouts they lasted quite a long time for us defense this is going to be a little trickier because some of these positions again 
lots of really really good cards here uh strong safety for me it's cam chancellor man it was cam he was good all year long obviously mutt master obviously kind of a thing there but we used him a ton at free safety again lots of other cards you used for me the one that i got a lot of play with was our taylor maze in here if i want to include another free safety i would have said the first sean taylor when it came out we used a ton the bow nose version but that taylor maze was kind of like everywhere for quite a while second strong safety i would go with would be ted Hendricks, not the golden ticket but the ghost version again kind of up there as your user this guy was everywhere honorable mention to divine diablo here if i had another spot for him here i would put him in as just really stacked but he was a guy i'm gonna miss probably been able to use same thing with isaiah simmons i think that they all fall in line here i wish we could put more maybe we can and there's there's a specialist tab here sub linebacker let's let's do this let's let's we'll, we'll put them in here isaiah simmons right here and diablo i guess we can put them in here they deserve their own spot the original ones right there deserve their spot clearly on this team they were great they were the users you used them for forever it felt like i still think i even had isaiah simmons on my no money spent team in may in may in may and the right outside linebacker wasn't an overly populated position or or used position really i feel like because of things a lot of people did use lawrence taylor when he first dropped he was the guy i know i used very balanced we got to include the original lawrence taylor it just makes a lot of sense great great card linebacker that luke keekley that we had how do you spell his name k-u-e luke luke team diamonds luke and then for me middle linebacker two is gonna be tyreek hill the 95 overall backyard ballers version with a discounted ap he played he got way too much run on my team that card stood out to me considerably especially we didn't really use linebackers but luke keekley and tyreek hill were the linebackers i used absolutely most for whatever we really need to do again left outside linebacker i felt like this was just rotating throughout the year depending on who you want to use and all that but we got to go what wh where is ghost honors micah parsons no it was ghost micah ghost micah was the guy that we really used uh a ton here we'll go with this one whatever micah parsons glitched out ability set right here for a linebacker as well he was the man he was like the fastest linebacker in the game fastest pass rusher in the game he could get inside stuff for cheap just held a very special spot to me and anyone who used him mike parsons was that dude this year all right corner and now again i'm not going to include the golden tickets i'm not going to include the golden tickets it was really short lifespan it didn't get all the run necessary here uh cornerback one i'm gonna use pat certain the team of the week one was outstanding this was an outstanding card when it came out every single one of his cards kept having that sort of bump up there like oh man i gotta get the next retain card you had to you had to use them uh up next for me was c e moss again phenomenal phenomenal card i know it was a little weak in some of the abilities but for me personally for me loved this card cornerback three you could go a lot of different ways there's a lot of people that we used throughout the year it just tons and tons of people we kept switching out trying different corners here and there who did you like the best who did you not like the best really always depended for me i'm gonna go with the original mike haynes he played on my team for a really 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 long time uh big 6-2 again no surprise i like the big corners i thought about some of the jalen ramseys and that but he was a little too slow at times even though i liked him mike haynes playing the slot for me did just did absolute work now this is tricky because a lot of these pass rushers we're going to talk about are very 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 similar right i could just easily pick the the discounted ap guys here um you, you're, you're really good uh but for me the card i used probably the most uh was aaron donald i uh, just had so many different versions again and you could put him in there no problem bam fine 
great. Again, any Aaron Donald to me was was really quite good. He didn't always have the speed, but he was always made his way on my team and stayed on my team from day one, even until now with the golden ticket. He's just been there consistently. Left end, again, tons of names here. Like we, I feel like we used all of these guys at different points in time. Uh, I switched, I switched a lot. Uh, let's check 94 to 96 if we can find someone here that that really rings a bell to stand out because we just use them all constantly. Devon Curse we used a lot. Uh, I, I I don't know exactly, but I think the card I had on my team for for quite a while was this Danell Hunter team of the year. He was on. He played for quite a while. We went through the Vikings team team phase as well. He was definitely there great card outstanding all of that um uh, while we're at it i want to add the old the old richard sherman here as well i thought this card played phenomenal i thought it did i just thought it did i thought it did defensive tackle i'm going with two if you guys watched my videos or kept up you know who this is chris jones this card to me was outstanding i don't know what it was i cannot explain but he was there and then Obviously, early Warren Sapp, I felt like did absolute work as well. Was a menace. So this is the team that I'm going with for my, my awards. Again, you could just place all the 99s and golden tickets in these places if you really wanted to. But again, these were the cards that I felt had this gigantic impact. We we're playing the game a lot more at that time. It's pretty interesting to me. So again, guys, if you want to go on here, screenshot these, send them to me over on Twitter. Would love to see them. Would love to see them. If you want, even on Twitter, respond when i tweet out the video respond underneath that one so it's just a good list and so you, you guys can see each other's uh, on there as well if you guys want to check out our derrick henry golden ticket gameplay top right and will be the show channel bottom right i love you guys i'm out peace